Wrong side, Father Paul. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Not the first time I've done that. LOL. LOL. I never say that. Just LOL instead of saying LOL, right? (laughs) Never mind. I'll just swing around to the penitent side. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been a month since my last confession. BTW. I came in here ASAP because I am HO. Where are these acronyms coming from today? FYI, you're acting a bit strange. <sighs> I screwed up, Pastor. I betrayed a sacred confidence. In what way? You don't mean from a confession, do you? Uh, I, uh... That is very serious. If a priest breaks the seal of confession, that's grounds for excommunication. Okay. BRB? Confessions of a Catholic. Wow, great dinner, Cece. Well, thanks for inviting me. You're both welcome. It's an excuse to cook a big, hearty meal. And to butter you up to be in a fashion show. Way to ruin it, Agnes. Though, kudos for the food pun. Fashion show? Gee, look at the time. I gotta go to the church. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Church. Isn't lying a sin, brother, father? We'll be down in three shakes of a lamb's tail. Here, I'll show you. Paul, I've been dying to ask all night. Were you in a fight or something? A fight? Oh, (laughs) the scratches. No, 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 no. Last night was a St. Francis Animal Ministry. Hot tip, don't bless a ferret with holy water unless you're looking for a holy ferret war dance. On your face. (laughs) What's in the bags? And with that simple question, your fate is sealed. Oh, thank you, Downton Abbey. That's it. You've lost date-choosing privileges, and now I'm taking away TV show selection, too. Forget TV. That's time you could be spending baking cookies for a sweet salvation. The ministry welcoming new parishioners. Nah, I'm the CEO of my own life now. I can do what I want, when I want. And I want to lounge on the couch watching TV. Besides, I help you at the shelter. You're off the hook. But Cecilia, what about you? The last of Frank's clothes. Do you want to donate to St. Vincent de Paul? Donate? Are you nuts? Providing a work of mercy is not nuts. Clothe the naked. Ew! Don't say naked! That's what it... And it's nuts when the quality is this good. The dude had good taste. The expensive taste. That suit is $1,600, and you wanted to sell it for $200. So what are you asking from us? Well, I'm going to post them on some high-end site Agnes showed me. None of the pictures were looking good, so I want to show them on a model. Cece, you want me to wear Frank's clothes? Ooh, that's a little creepy. Oh, maybe we can work that angle for a higher retail price. Please. Paul, you can start with these gym shoes. $900 for these. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah. Those. Excuse me? Oh, I mean, you know, sneakers can be expensive. <laughs> LOL. Why is that funny? She just found these sneakers hidden way back in his closet. How'd you know about them? Hi, DK. I, I should go. I really need to work on my homily. Uh-uh-uh. Don't give me any flim flam. Did you know about these shoes? Don't ask me. Did you know about more than the shoes? I really want to stay and sip this tea my brother's steeped in. No kudos for the pun. (sighs) Anyway, I've got to get to work and impress the German. Take me with you. Please. No. Record video and send it to me. Just the juicy bits. Hey, what can I get you? Uh, um... Maybe, uh... Uh... I'll come back when you know. No, I'll order. I guess a shot? Of? Courage, I don't know. Whatever will help me ask my friend out tonight. Not when you're drunk. You don't want him to think it's just the alcohol. Take it easy with this lager and enjoy your night. That'll be six dollars. Keep the change. This 
is literal change. You're giving me 42 cents? No, make that 41. This one's a button. Sehr gut, Agnes. Thanks. Danke. It means so much coming from you. I'm excited you got the job here. Thanks to you. You are a fashion yet caring bartender. You forgot beautiful. Nein. I did not forget, but her beauty has not to do with her skill as a barman. Maybe beauty makes men like you tip more, but that is your choice. Can I get you something? I guess just a martini. Vodka martini. Vodka dry, dry vodka martini. Stirred, dry stirred vodka martini, please. You got it. That's $15. Oh, here's 20. Keep the change. Because you're good at your job, not because you're pretty, but, but you are pretty. Are you not allowed to say when are, are pretty anymore? It's okay. I appreciate the tip and the compliment, but you're canceled. I'm kidding. Can I get your number? You know what? No. For once, no. Ooh, this feels good saying no to this guy. No. No. Not kidding this time. Jeez, I get it. Can I get that five back? Nine. So you knew he was spending all sorts of money behind my back? Cecilia, you're putting me in a difficult position. I didn't ask you to pose in that position for the picture. Just be normal. I'll crop your face out anyways. So he did tell you? Did Frank confess to you? Technically, it wasn't a confession. More spiritual direction. Let me get a close-up of the watch here. Did you tell him to talk to me? Of course. I suggested counseling, both for him and you two together. <laughs> Good, Dimitri's back. So we should definitely stop talking about this. You aren't wearing the suit. Oh, no. I will hulk out in those threads. Unless Lou Ferrigno is your target market, you do not want me trying to squeeze into these clothes. Paul, you saw me fall all to pieces as I found out the lies and secrets after he died. And said nothing? Frank lies, you lie. Dimitri, have you been lying to me? Oh, my membership in the Let's Make Awkward Situations Awkwarder Club expired. I am out. You're back. Do you know what you want this time? Uh, Madamba. I'll have to ask how to make that. That is nicked a drink. It's not? What's in it? Whiskey and lemonade? Then just say whiskey lemonade. I know how to make every drink that is. That there ever has been, Madamba is not a drink. I don't know. My friend just asked me to order him one. What is his name? Rick. Surname. Madamba. Mm, Madamba, that sounds good. I'll have one of those. It's not a real drink! We're slammed here and you're goofing off naming drinks after yourselves? Well, Tom Collins did it. Rob Roy. They're those guys. Okay, I don't know who they are or how they got drinks named after them, but this ain't it, hun. Yeah, this is ain't it. Isn't ain't it? Why not it? Here's your whiskey lemonade. Thanks. Bye. Forever. Keep the change. Where are you keeping all these coins? I hope he says no to your date. A guy at the end of the bar said he only order from you. Oh, tequila, Todd. We've been flirting for a long time, but he's never asked me for my number. So it's your he wants, not the drink. Well, that ship has sailed. I'm letting go and letting God handle my love life. I'm all business. This is my focus on myself and my career era. Look out, Fräulein. I'm coming after you as the best bartender. I am a fra. And being the best isn't an hour for me. It's a lifetime. I'm sorry. I tried to get Frank to tell you many times. That it just wasn't my place as a priest to intervene. I know. Even if it wasn't the seal of the confessional, it's a tough spot. But you're also my best friend. For almost 30 years. Forgive me. Still playing the priest card. Commanding me to forgive? 
I'm playing the Jesus card. He says to forgive. Let's just start posting. Do you dare buy this suit fit for a king? Worry not about any stress it will bring. Sure, the price is steep. It will only cost your house and, um, some sheep. <laughs> That's your write-up on the high-end retail website? And why sheep? Yep, uh, I lost it at the end. Okay, how's this? These sneakers will make you stand out in a crowd. Does wasting $1,600 on these make you proud? Ugh. Whoa! Don't throw the sneakers! You can't sell them if they're damaged. Not that it will sell anyway if you use that poem. I don't care. This is too hard. It's the last of his things. I can call my cousin Nico. BFN? Nico with the nose? Nico too much stuff. BFN? And you guys just yell through the walls? Thin walls. And gotta keep track of all the Nikos in his family. You know, we Greeks love our Saint Nicholas. There's also baby Nico. The poor kid's five. He's gonna be called that until he's in adult diapers. Anyway, of course, Nico too much stuff will know how to get rid of all this. Fine. Thanks. I don't care anymore. But for a good price, or I'll never hear the end of it from Agnes. But she would forgive you. Because forgiveness is so great! Huh? What'd you say? I actually do need to go. I have to open up the Paris Center for a meeting at church and then mass. Which meeting is it this time? I want to say AA, maybe NA, could be VA. I think that's the Veterans Administration. They're all anonymous, so how should I know? Okay, it wasn't a confession, thank goodness. That would have been a lot of paperwork. But I still don't feel good. I'm heartily sorry. For your penance, say a rosary for your friend. And remember, you have a whole congregation of friendships to nurture, not just the one. You don't have time for all that anyway. Not with all the ministries you put me in charge of. <clears throat> Sounds like you'd like some more. Consider it done. SMH. Confessions of a Catholic Single is a production of Dash Entertainment, created by Aaron Dooley. Written by Aaron Dooley and Charlemagne Rothels. Directed and produced by Aaron Dooley. Title song written by Christoph Munoz and Genevieve Grimm. Performed by Genevieve Grimm. Katie Bonenhammer as Cecilia. Kristen Jacek as Agnes. David Acuff as Dimitri. Charlemagne Rothels as Father Paul. Ed Merritt as Pastor. Julie Hurt as German bartender. Sarah Thompson as female bar patron. Marcus Evans as male bar patron. Up next on episode six, Agnes tries to learn to cook. Nobody panic! It's supposed to have a smoky flavor! Come and get it! And Cecilia tries to set up Florence. Let's see how Florence likes a taste of her own medicine. Wait a minute, she doesn't know you're setting her up? She said if the world provided a man, she would consider it. 